South Dakota is becoming more diverse by the day. Right now is Hispanic Heritage Month, so we wanted to find out what it means to be Hispanic in South Dakota in 2018. Dan Santella organized a roundtable discussion with Hispanic members of our community and brings you their perspective in tonight's Eye on Cololand. Around this table, you'll find students, a realtor, and someone who works in banking. They each have a specialty, but they all have a common background. I think to be Hispanic in South Dakota means opportunity. There's a lot of opportunity for growth for Hispanics in South Dakota. Nancy Reynosa has experienced that personally, selling homes in Sioux Falls. I would say similar. Um, it's an exciting opportunity for growth. I come from a big city, so to me Sioux Falls is a small, big city. So it's small, but it's like a city. Um, so it's a privilege to be able to contribute to the growth. Yesenia Gonzalez does her part working at a local nonprofit. For me, I believe that um, we're kind of in a crossroad, personally. Um, you know, th there might be opportunity for growth. South Dakota State University advisor Florencio Aranda points to current events. But because of the political climate, I also feel that it puts a lot of these individuals at a standstill or rather in a fearful situation where they are wanting to thrive and excel but don't really know what's going to happen with them or their families in you know the days to come. I believe being Hispanic in South Dakota comes with a lot of challenges. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as Dr. Flo said, there are a lot of uncertain unknowns right now and I am I resonate with that because being a first generation college student, um, that's a lot of weight on myself. Gabriela Revolorio is a criminal justice major at the University of South Dakota. Coming to South Dakota at a young age, it was kind of a culture shock for me because coming from West Palm Beach, Florida, it was very diverse. A lot of Hispanic cultures were involved and South Dakota at the time wasn't that very diverse. 19 year old Isabella Gasca is the youngest person at the table. She studies social work at USD. Mm -hmm. Like I see both sides. Um, challenges are, I think it's harder for, because South Dakota is such a red state, that a lot of people have their old views and their values and they don't, aren't willing to change and like won't or do not want to see like other cultures besides their own. But I also think it brings opportunity. As Gasco looks to the future, Sioux Falls sales analyst Francisco Alvarez Evangelista says it's important to remember the past. I think one of the big things for me of uh, being a Hispanic person in South Dakota is uh, understanding my culture and understanding where I come from. Um, understanding how my past and my background has influenced me the person today. He calls Sioux Falls a city of opportunity. I've been very lucky and very blessed to have had the opportunities I've had in this town and I'm happy to be a resident of this town. Um, but at the same time, it's I've learned from my background and I've learned that we live in a difficult political environment today. But what I question or what I bring back to myself every night and every, every day I think about it is how do I bridge the gap? for others that are in my situation. How do I make things better? With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella. Now a look toward the future was just one of the themes touched on during the roundtable discussion. We will bring you more of their conversation tomorrow night on our Hispanic Heritage Hidden History Special at 6.30 p.m. Central Time over on My UTV. It will also re-air Sunday night after the Kelloland News at 10 o'clock. You can also check out our special Hidden History Hispanic page at Kelloland.com to watch more of the roundtable discussion as well as read more stories about the impact of Hispanic culture on the U.S.